Surviving versus defending. Uh, somebody recently asked me the question, really important, fundamental question of jiu-jitsu, is let's define those two things and sooner you identify which one you find yourself in, sooner you're going to benefit from the escape perspective of jiu-jitsu, right? And escape processes. Let's talk about escapings first. So defending and escaping, you know, I would define those as making logical and intentional steps towards the common goal of removing yourself from the compromised position. Whether it's a grip, collar hold, somebody on top of you, somebody on the side of you, somebody smashing you, somebody choking you, somebody putting you in a submission. Defending will be stopping them from executing this motion. Escaping would be a next step, which means these are logical steps to remove yourself from that position, okay? Now, surviving, it's very, very different. Surviving often is not making logical steps. Matter of fact, um, with survival, often there is anxiety associated with it and surrounded by it. Um, there's panic associated with survival. Um, we definitely are not making a lot of logical steps or logical decisions for ourselves. Often the mind is fogged and cluttered with chaos. Um, so as you can see, we don't have as much control of the situation when we are in this survival mode. So what I often tell my students is that these three stages, survival, defense, and escape, are three independent of each other, yet very close, in very close proximity. So what I mean by this, when we survive, we are not making any steps to change the situation. We are simply trying to coexist without losing. The moment we step over to the next stage, which is defending. Now we're making logical steps to stop my partner from applying pressures or some of those motions that they want to apply. We are slowly countering their, their plan, but we're not making any steps yet to be out. This is just defending. Now, escaping is very different. Escaping is we are making logical steps towards the exit. We are exiting out that position. Somehow our job is to reverse, not only to stop, but to reverse, to escape, to move out, to change the position. And at the end of all of this, there should be a conversation of control. Without control, we can't establish any of those three. Before, we, if we're surviving, when we regain the control, we're no longer surviving. Now we are controlling, right? If we are defending and we regain the control, now we're not defending anymore. We are controlling. Similar with escapes. When we escape, at the end of the, each escape, there should be a component of control. I'm in charge now. I'm no longer escaping. So what the trick is that you need to identify which stage you're in. You cannot be in two stages at the same time. What I mean by this, you cannot be defending and escaping. It's one or the other. You definitely cannot be escaping when you're surviving, right? So survival, defense, escape, and then you can start controlling. And then after that, we can, we can attack after that. So really identify these things as you find yourself in some of these compromised positions. And as you troubleshoot your jiu-jitsu, as you go through these motions, um, identify, am I really escaping or am I just surviving? And I make, am I making any steps to better my position, to improve my situation? I, is he still applying his own way? Who's in charge here? That's a big one. So think about this. And the moment you identify these buckets, the moment you identify this situation, your, your, your game will change. Your escapes will become more clear. You're going to gain more control of the situation. And honestly, you're going to start improving by far faster. Peace.